no vlog, I guess. Um, it's been a really, really long time since I picked up my camera and did a vlog with you guys. So I just woke up, so please excuse me for looking <laughs> like a puffy and I think I have like sleep marks on my face still and I'm just having some breakfast so I made some li niu tong which is like a Chinese lotus root soup so yeah um I'm in New York and I'm here for about two weeks so yeah today I'm actually going to one of my favorite parts of New York it's Flushing in Queens and it's kind of like the Chinatown part of um of New York last time I came here like almost a year ago, I bought these cute little hair clips and my brother has this tendency to come into my room and like touch my things and he broke one of them and it exploded into a million pieces and so today it's like the number one thing on my to-do list which is to go back to flushing and to find these hair clips I don't even remember where they're from but I'm gonna find them I am gonna get ready now and I'm gonna head out to flushing also another reason why I'm in Flushing today is because there is this really really cute tiny little flower shop that actually sells my favorite Chinese dessert and it's called Tofu Fa. It's basically like a very soft and silky tofu with a little bit of sweet ginger syrup. And if you guys have never had this before, I really, really recommend that you come here and try it. I think it's a really amazing experience to just come here and try some really delicious dessert and <laughs> browse plants. And then afterwards, it's not a trip to New York without coming to my favorite pizza place. I'm obsessed with this place. It's my favorite pizza place in the world. And this is Don Antonio's in Midtown Manhattan. And then our next stop is heading over to an event with Paula's Choice, again in Midtown Manhattan. I made it to the Paula's Choice event. I'm in Midtown Manhattan and I'm standing right outside of where it is because it's a little bit loud out there. This is to celebrate like the recent launch of one of their newest moisturizers. I'm really excited to see what that's like. There is like an entire room where they can help you customize your skincare routine and I'm really excited. I'm definitely going to show you guys like my haul afterwards and share with you guys like things that I got from this event that I'm really excited to try. So let's go through the event. guys so today on our itinerary I am heading over to one of my favorite little cafes in New York and this is Cha'an in East Village this is my favorite place to come and meet with friends and just catch up and talk over some tea and dessert and my recommendation is the black sesame creme brulee along with some hojicha I've tried pretty much all of their desserts so far but this still ranks as one of my favorite hey guys I just wanted to touch base really quick and let you guys know what I'm doing today before I head out. I just finished getting ready really quick and I'm about to meet up with Rowena from Beauty Within and we're going to get lunch at one of my favorite restaurants from New York. That's my timer to go! It's been like a good year since I went to Devell's, so I'm so excited. Trust me, if you guys have the chance to go, go to Devell and order the Neapolitan pasta. It is so good. Later tonight, I'm going to the spring gallery opening at the MoMA, which I'm super excited about. Um, I've been really wanting to go to like a museum event. I'm definitely going to take you guys with me and we're going to see what that's like together. Um, so yeah, that's it for the update today. Oh, I also got my ears pierced. So I got another helix piercing and also a conch piercing. And recently, I've only been doing my piercings at this place in New York because I really like their jewelry. It's uh, made from titanium and I found that my ears heal a lot better with titanium because I'm particularly sensitive to piercings and that's why I had to take a lot of them out. So yeah, I just thought that I would try my hand at getting some helix piercings again and we're going to see how that goes. I really hope that I don't have to take them out again because that would really suck. But um, yeah, that's it for the update. I'm going to head out now and I will see you guys in a bit.
And after the MoMA event, I headed on over to my favorite restaurant in New York to have dinner. This is Morimoto in the Chelsea area, and this is my favorite restaurant probably in the world. If you guys like raw fish, if you guys like sushi, this is a place to get something really high quality and something really delicious. Hey guys, so today is another day, and I am about to get ready really quick to head on over to the Grailed and Heroin HQ to have a meeting. And afterwards, I'm going to pick up some pieces because we're going to do a photo shoot together and I'm going to be styling that. Today is just going to be a day where I just have to get things done. So I'm just going to get my face ready really quick with you guys. Um, I just wanted to show you guys like my daily makeup that I've been wearing recently. And it's basically a compilation of products that I've already talked with you guys about. So they're like my current favorites and... It's basically like my five-step daily makeup routine because it's like really pared down. Before I do any sort of face product, I always start with a moisturizer and recently I've been trying the sunshine oil from Milk Makeup just because I've been using the sunshine skin tint and I thought that it would be cool to try and see how they work together. And then afterwards, I'm just following up with a really light layer of the Sunshine Skin Tint. Again, I really love this skin tint because it doesn't necessarily look like you're wearing makeup. It's just a little boost for making your skin look a little bit better than it does. And I think it's really good for like a natural daily look. I don't even use a sponge because again, it's just another thing to take out of my makeup routine. Now step three is using a cream blush. And I've already been using this with you guys, so I don't think I need to talk too much about it, but I just love using a cream blush because, especially when it's so like cold and dry outside, I don't really want to be putting powders onto my face. And then next step four is using a lipstick. And I really like the Bare Minerals Bare Pro lipstick, and this one is in the color Cranberry. It's really pigmented, but I just like to dab a little bit all over the lips. And then lastly, I'm just going to put on eyeliner and a lot of you guys have been asking what I've been using to make my eyeliner look so good in my Instagram photos. And recently, it's been the Illustrative Eyeliner from M Cosmetics. Now you guys know what I've been using and I'm going to be doing my eyeliner really quickly off camera because I've been holding my camera while I've been applying with my other hand and I don't think I can do this for this one. So I'm just going to pop off camera and I'm just going to do this really quick. And that's it. I have my eyeliner on. I might put on mascara later. I don't know, but this is basically it for my five-step makeup routine when I'm traveling and when I'm super lazy, which has been pretty much every single day on this trip. I'm already like tired of putting on makeup and like wearing clothes and like going out like... <laughs> So before I head out, I just wanted to show you guys my Paula's Choice haul from the event, which I promised you guys that I would. And I am just so excited because I love Paula's Choice. I have already been using their skincare products in my skincare routine for a really, really long time. So since then, I've chosen like two products to start trying out and I've incorporated it into my daily skincare routine. And I just wanted to give you guys sort of like a first impression. So the first one I wanted to talk about is the Advanced Replenishing Toner. And this is with Hyaluronic Acid. It's like a milky consistency and because it has hyaluronic acid in it and it's supposed to really hydrate the skin, you can start by hydrating the skin in the first step of your skincare routine, which is toner. So I thought that was really interesting and so far I do really like it. I do feel like it does add like a, a bit of extra moisture in my skincare routine. And the next one that I have been trying out is the Gentle Touch Makeup Remover and it says that it's ideal for sensitive skin and it's non-irritating. So. Based off my first impressions, I have two things to say about this. I think for the amount of makeup that I wear on my skin on a daily basis, it's it's good. It does what it's supposed to. It's very gentle. It's not irritating. I don't think that this is as good for removing like heavy eye makeup. I had to switch onto an oil makeup remover to remove that instead. So I think it's good to pair this with another makeup remover um, to get everything off. And yeah, that's basically my first impressions for these two products that I've been trying out so far. And yeah, I will obviously keep you guys updated with the other products that I'm going to try out, which I'm super excited for. So yeah, that's it. I'm about to finish getting ready. I'm going to put on my clothes and I'm just going to do my hair really quick. And yeah, with that, I will see you guys later. Do you know who this is?
my god! Oh my god! I love him! This is so cute! Oh my god, Tom Degar's son did this? <laughs>